this particular one I got on Amazon. It is the Sprantz. You're sprancing through the woods as pumper number two. Uh, deluxe uh, you know, chewing teeth in there. It's amazing. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We're going to get right to the point. Today, we're going to show you how to get all of your stuff from out of here into here via a hose at the top so that you can take it all the way over the cool thing about this is we're also going to refill our fresh water and bring water back this is an amazing method if you're boondocking or mooch docking somewhere and you don't want to move your camper so stick around i'm going to make it short sweet super fast show you exactly what you need to knew need to knew you need to knew you knew it you're going to knew it I'm going to show you just what you need to know, nothing more, nothing less, and let's jump in to, that's kind of not the best analogy for working with number two, okay? I'm not going to jump in it, but we are going to get started. Watch this. All right, so in a lot of RVs, the waste gate dump. Uh, some have this gate, some don't. I added it just as an extra precaution and a lot of them are located under a slide. So when we're doing this, I like to put my slide in so that it's a little easier to access. It's already enough fun as it is, so no need to make it any harder. There's the access to my uh, black and gray tank outlet and I'm going to hook up a macerator pump. So let's go grab that right now. All right, so this is a macerator pump. I call it the Pooperator, the Pooperator 2000. It is basically a garbage disposal on steroids to pump your black and gray tank out and up a garden hose. Inside of here, you can see nice and close, lovely deluxe uh, food chewing teeth in there. It's amazing. As I'm picking it up, I just noticed the O-ring fell out in my little tub here. This O-ring goes right in here. It's just a rubber O-ring. It doesn't fit real tight depending on the model. Make sure that O-ring is in there. If it's not and you turn it on, you're gonna have a gushy mess. Ask me how I know. So there's a lot of different brands that people do. This particular one I got on Amazon, it is the Sprantz. You're sprancing through the woods as you pump your number two where that comes from but it comes with just this short cable on this and there's not a lot of uh, uh, wire to reach a battery to hook up so what I've done is I just went to Walmart bought a cheap extension cord cut the ends off of it wired in my alligator clips to hook up to my battery here's the plug in that plugs into the stock pump and now I'm going to show you how I put it all together before we get started let's watch the next step all right I put it on this way on purpose because I want this uh, clear hose that comes out of it is going to be our waste uh, hose that it's going to pump out and I want it facing down so when I'm done gravity helps push everything down and out that waste side. This is the clean out side in order to kind of flush the hose when we're all done. So now let's hook up power before we get to hooking up the hoses. All right, I have a ridiculously long hose. Oops. <laughs> Are you supposed to say that on camera? I mean, I have a really long... <laughs> we better not put that in. All right, so I have this gray hose that I use for my macerator pumping. And a lot of times we are mooch docking somewhere near a uh, sewer clean out or a septic tank access. So this particular hose is 100 feet, which is massive overkill and it's kind of annoying to be honest. So if all you're ever gonna do is pump up into your waste tank while you're uh, boondocking, you probably only need like a 10 or 15 foot hose and that would be a, a lot easier to clean out too. But let me show you how this all works. We're gonna hook it up to the pump, 
hook it up to the tank. I'll show you the connections. There's one important hose that you need to be aware of to make sure you have everything you need. Otherwise, it's a messy way to fill. I'll show you both. All right, so we've got the other end of the hose, and now we are gonna need to figure out how to make sure everything goes inside this tank. If you do not have the correct attachment, you can unscrew the top of your honey bucket tank, put this into here, and just uh, either stand there and hold it or rig up something, a bungee cord to hold it, and let it go in. It's kind of messy, and then you smell the smell the whole time it's going. So a better way to get it attached to your honey bucket would be this, a female to female attachment. So a lot of times on the top of the honey bucket, you may need a different adapter depending on your particular uh, tank, but we're gonna put this on here, we're gonna put this on here, and then we've got super solid connections all the way in with uh, no stink. All right, this extra one up here is kind of like a uh, pressure valve. And if it's closed and all the other things are closed and you start pumping into here, it's gonna to start to swell the tank and the little macerator pump is gonna have a hard time pushing into it because it's got uh, pressure in it. So you wanna loosen this up. Depends on the type again of your particular device, but this one you unthread the top of it a bit and it's now it's loose and it's gonna allow air to escape as this is pushing stuff in so the air can be displaced and it won't cause you any problems when we're filling it up. So now that everything's hooked up, we've got power hooked up. We are ready to show you what it looks like to open the valves, turn on the power and dun, 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 pump our poo with the pooperator. So one of the things about emptying your tanks is you also get to do a lot of yoga. This is my favorite uh, downward dog empty open the wastegate maneuver right here. You kind of pull in here, you put one leg way back and then you pull real hard. So now my bottom valve is open. This is just my emergency backup valve to make sure nothing ever comes out of here. Now we're gonna go open up the other tanks, turn on some power and pump them. All right, in the wet bay is where my valves are located. It kind of varies depending on your model. You should know that part. You always start with your black tank first. We're gonna pump the black tank and then we're gonna open the gray tank. And then I'll show you how to do a flush using water on board, even while you're out boondocking. Here we go. All right, so while we're waiting for that to pop, just want to point out something real quick. A lot of people use these little uh, honey buckets or blue boys or whatever you call them, and they'll drag them behind their side-by-side -side or scooter or put them, put them up on the back of the hitch on their pickup and drag them like a little miniature trailer. You can see this one's made. There's another attachment that comes with it that hooks up to the back of a ball and you can drag it down the road, which is okay if you're like in an RV park or something, you're not really going very far. But a lot of times when you're way out here boondocking and you're a long ways from a dump station, dragging it is not a very viable option. So I like putting mine up on the back of the tailgate, just like this. I strap one side down here. I strap the other side down back here, just some simple bungee cords, nothing too extravagant. I'm not gonna be setting any uh, speed records going into the dump station. But then this whole tank is up here, ready to go. And my uh, waste gate is right here. So I can just pull up right next to the dump station Pull the gate, dump it, put some water in here to rinse it out. I'll show you more about that on the other end. All right, now we've got everything loaded up in the back of the truck. We're gonna go ahead to the dump station. But as we go, I want to tell you a little bit more about what we do. Uh, there's more to our channel than Pooperator videos. Well, I hope this is helpful for you and you're learning and it's uh, kind of taking some of the fear out of boondocking and making life a little bit easier for you. I also wanted you to know that we make a lot of exciting videos where we adventure all around North America, Canada, the United States, all over the place, having uh, an amazing time showing you where we go and what we do as we teach the Bible and help other people learn more about Jesus. Kind of a different curve from the Pooperator video. But uh, if you like this and you like our style, I think you might like our channel. You might want to subscribe or check out some of the other things we do. So that being said, let's jump in the truck, show you how to bring back the fresh water. 
All right, the other thing we like to do when we go to the dump station is come back with more fresh water. So we've got a big 85 gallon water bladder here. It's got a fill tank or a fill uh, hose. It has the fill finger upper on the top. And this is the uh, exit where you can hook up a garden hose, turn the valve on and off, pretty straightforward. Ready? All right, it's important to check this to pull the lid off take a peek in there. You can hear the pump in the background. That means we are running dry. All right, you're gonna see a little bit of fluid even after it runs dry, because some of the stuff's gonna come back in the hose. There may be a little bit in here, but it's okay to close all your valves. We're gonna close this, and I'm gonna go close my gray valve, and then we're gonna show you how to flush everything out with some clean water. All right, this hose right here is gonna go to my outdoor shower hookup. I'm gonna be able to pump fresh water in here and uh, this is all closed, so nothing's gonna go back up the line. It's all gonna go just in the pump, and then we're gonna put fresh water into the macerator pump, and it's gonna force fresh water out through our gray hose to kind of help clean the gray hose out a bit before we roll it all back up and put it away. All right, now I'm gonna unhook this. It had a little pressure on it, so it's gonna squirt just a little bit. Okay, now uh, I'll put my clean water stuff away, so that's uh, away from the black stuff. We'll clean up the black stuff. All right, first step, unplug the power. I prefer to take the unit off and then undo the hose because it's just a little easier to access it. It's not uncommon that there'll be a little bit of spillage when you take this off. Thankfully, we flushed it pretty good with fresh water, so nothing to worry about, especially when you're out boondocking. So remember to watch out for that O-ring. We got mostly pretty clean water, so not a big deal. Make sure our O-ring stays in place. And now I like to be able to pick it up just a little bit. We got clean water in there, not clean, but it's not gross black water. And so you're gonna have a little bit of water come out from our flush. I'm gonna set the pump aside and then we're gonna walk the hose and attach both ends together to kind of seal the hose back up to itself. 